For a focus on solutions to the crime crisis, Ridgeland Police Chief John Neal, who's also the president of the Mississippi Association of Chiefs of Police, sat down with me to give us more insight into the problem. Ridgeland is next to Jackson. In densely populated areas like the capital city, Chief John Neal says crime is typically higher. Right. Well, it's, it's certainly concerning. Uh, I'm sure to Chief Davis and the mayor down in Jackson, but also to the outlying areas as well, too, because it's not uncommon for these, these outlying areas to get the spillover of, of, of crime from Jackson. Ridgeland Police partners with Jackson to solve crimes. In the last five years, Chief Neal says he's seen more guns on the streets, and it's not uncommon for 13 or 14 year olds to have them. Times have changed. Which when I was 13 or 14, I was worried about whether I was going to play second base or third base, you know, at the Little League Baseball game, whereas nowadays these kids are, are wondering who their next crime victim is going to be. In Madison County, he says they have a strong court system. A lot of the hands uh, are, a lot of the times our, our hands are tied with what we're able to do with juvenile offenders. You know, the best we can do is put them into the, into the youth court system, let the youth court uh, process take its, take its course. And, and hopefully at that young age that, that parent steps in at that point and says, no, you've got to do better in life. You've got to, you've got to change your ways because I don't want you to turn 18 years old and become that adult and commit a crime that's going to possibly send you away for, you know, three, four, five, 10, 15 years. And when raising children, Chief Neal says be resilient, be strong, and teach them right from wrong. And we want to hear from you. Do you have any thoughts on what it will take to make the streets safer? Email us at news at wjtv.com.